Males are always on the lookout for does that may be in season, ever ready to follow the sexual trail. Bucks try to mate with as many females as they can, but the most powerful male, the King Grey, claims exclusive mating rights, and he's ever alert for a challenge. By scratching her tail, this male interloper finds out if she's receptive, but it's a very provocative act, not one the dominant male can afford to ignore. The approach of the King Grey is enough to deter the interloper. He moves into the background when the King arrives to assert his rights. The smell of the doe's urine tells him that she's almost ready to mate. But she'll only remain receptive for a few hours, and he covers her with scent from his chest gland to warn off other males. Again, that inquisitive tail scratching, a kind of foreplay. This time, she remains still, a sign that she's ready for him to mount. Remarkably, the fertilized egg doesn't grow to full term immediately, but stops at the 100 cell stage and becomes dormant. It won't resume growing until the present youngster is finished nursing. Right now, there's an interruption. The interloper decides that this is the time to launch his challenge. The female runs off. The challenger goes after her. with the king in hot pursuit to reclaim his authority. The king gray paws and rubs at a clump of grass as a warning, a ritualized deployment of scent. Then a show of power. Rearing six feet high, mighty arms tipped with sharp claws, an intimidating sight and normally enough to make rivals turn tail. But this challenger is of equal size and not about to be faced down. Life at the top is precarious and short. King Greys are under constant challenge and defending their status eventually wears them out. The dominant buck looks away, a last attempt to avoid battle. It fails. The aim is to overpower by whatever means it takes. Paws and legs swing into action.
The hind claws are sharp enough to disembowel, but in defense, the belly skin is tough like a shield. To minimize injury, the testicles are retracted and the heads thrown back to protect the eyes. A year of fending off rivals has taken the edge off the King Grey's stamina. This time, he may be staring defeat in the face. The raking nails on the hind feet send the fur flying. Each seeks the advantage of higher ground. Finally, it's the challenger who positions himself for the decisive blow. And that's it. The battle is won, the challenger is king. But for the loser, there's no mercy. He's banished to the poorest feeding grounds. Worn out by the stress of battle, he may well die. Win or lose, such a fight takes a terrible toll. But for the victor, the rewards are great. It's taken him 10 years to reach the top. And although he may reign for only a year, he'll have nearly all the matings and a legacy of numerous young to inherit his winning strength.